Hey guys, I'm Nick with Technic, and today we get to look at something pretty cool. A portable PC gaming device called Steam Deck. Now, you've probably heard about this. This isn't brand new but they're not everywhere yet. So Steam, which is PC gaming, gives you a wide range of games you can choose from. The benefit of this is buying all your games in one location. So if you haven't used them, again, I highly recommend looking at it. So what we're gonna do is open this thing up, give you the first impressions, the first look at this, and then we're gonna mention some cool stuff that this system does uh, along the way. And then we'll have follow-up videos where we dive more into performance. Let's open this up and see what we've got. So, um, some, I guess a million languages here, and I'm really too stupid to say what this is. Though one of them is in English and says, on the subway. So, what is this? Plug in. It is in English. I just can't read. It says, attention, and then attention, 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 plug in before you power on. I mean, I guess they're saying whatever charge is on this system in the box, don't trust. You don't want it dying out while you're doing initialization and setups. So that's probably what they're saying. Um, then it's got a diagram of the machine, tells you that you can put in a memory card. Like I said, in here, this is the Steam Deck, right? This is what we're looking at. This is the 512 gig version. It's got a little like pull away tab here for this cardboard cover. This is their first entry into hardware, right? Like this, this is taking them from just a software guy to, to a, a company that's making an actual physical product. For what we paid for this, almost $700. Uh, the presentation's probably not exactly where it needs to be, but for their first foray into this, I'm not gonna judge too, too harshly. I don't need a really nice box, right? I need a nice device, and so let's keep that in mind. John, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, wow. So here we are. Whoa. This is impressive. So this is a seven inch screen. We'll get to what's in that box there in a second, but do you want to get a good kind of a wrap around at this, John? Uh, I almost cranked the power button. <laughs> I'll make sure we plug it up before we do that. You've got a cursor pad here. You've got your thumbsticks here. I will say, um, one of the first things I saw was concern from people about the placement of these thumbsticks. But when you're holding this, the placement of that feels really good. So I, I'm not real sure that I'm sold on these uh, thumb pads or mouse pads just yet, but we'll see about that. Let's just see what else is in the box. We do have some type of a carrying bag. I guess that's for the power. Oh, this is a little mouse pad. Oh, that's kind of nice. I can't tell you you're going to be able to play every PC game on this device. However, I have already seen some pretty impressive stuff that people are doing with it. Now, you've got some extra features while I'm plugging this up. Let's just talk about some other stuff. You are able to dock this, essentially almost like a Nintendo Switch, and, and send this out to a television or to a monitor. It also has Bluetooth. I can have a keyboard and mouse set up. I can have an Xbox controller or, or some other type of Bluetooth controller plugged in, and I can actually play the games from there. Or I can pick this thing up, throw it in this case, take it with me, and then I've got PC gaming or the closest version of that that I can have. Now the screen size at 7 inches is a 1080p screen, but I believe the video output will do to a monitor 4K or better. Um, as we turn this, uh, we power, remember the direction said plug up then turn on, and that is what we did. We actually followed the directions for once. Pretty good job there. It's going to ask me here to pick my language, and it looks like I've got every option available to mankind. Then it's going to ask me to uh, attach to my Wi-Fi. So it's going to start installing uh, either an update or this uh, patch for the Steam software itself. One cool thing is we've read that whether you use USB or memory card storage, I can actually go onto my computer, download the game from my PC so that I don't have to, if you suffer like we do, and we have spotty internet, that's a big advantage that I can go to my computer and move that game file over and put it on this device and save myself hours of pain at the mercy of my internet provider. Also, it has a function where I can hop from PC to this. So say I'm playing on my PC at night and I'm playing a game with my buddies and we get to a stopping point, we hit save. Next day I'm traveling, I pick this up, I'm in the airport, wherever, and right when I log into the game, the Steam Cloud load saves the progress. So this will work in tandem with your gaming setup. I do want to show 
we have an Xbox controller here. So I'm gonna hit, I wanna see how difficult this is just quickly while we're sitting here. So well, let's turn on the Bluetooth and it's gonna find the devices. It did find the Xbox wireless controller pretty much immediately. So I'm hitting, I'm hitting A to sync. It says that it is now connected and it is. I, so now I can actually move through this using the controller. The controller is synced and I'm using an Xbox uh, Series X controller. But if I'm playing games like, for example, Age of Empire, you're as easily as we saw the controller sync, a wireless keyboard and mouse will sync as well. The store is a, this is a slightly modified thing from what we see on the base, on the regular Steam store. However, I think this looks really good. And it's given me obviously some stuff that's coming up as recommendations and I can dig further in there to look for items that I'm looking for. Um, off of this main Steam shortcut here, again, I've also got access to my friends list so I can chat from this device across platforms. As long as they're on Steam, I can send them messages back and forth. One other thing we haven't talked about, and I'm not gonna go too far in in this video, is that you do also have a desktop mode for the Steam Deck. And in that mode, I will be able to do some things that I don't have access to off of the Steam platform. So this is a Linux operating system. However, I can go into desktop mode and I could install, for example, say a Discord um, app so that then I can run that off of this device as well. It gives you some flexibility there. I could go into desktop mode, install an emulator system, and then I could actually go back and, and I can play like a Super Nintendo, a portable Super Nintendo. That's pretty incredible. Okay, so what we're gonna see here is how we move content. We're gonna show you how easy this can be. So you'll load your Steam and go up here to the top uh, under Steam and go to settings. Once your settings open, scroll down to downloads and then go here to your Steam library folders. Now this will pull up where you have games stored on your device. So that is the local drive here. Now what I can do is I plug this SD card in and I hit this plus sign and it gives me the option of finding that piece of hardware. And I did here. And then I grabbed the game from here and I copied it and put it onto this micro SD card. So now doing that, we should be able to eject this, pop it into the Steam Deck and see what happens. Okay, so I put the SD card in and I went to the game, and when I went to open it, it obviously gave me the option to install the game, and I did. And after it has done that, it now is on the device and has a 2 gig update, which we will do now. So Age of Empires 2, the definitive edition, was about 25 gigs. And so we thought that would be a pretty good uh, test of putting it over. It did take ugh, 40 minutes to move that 25 gig game over onto an SD card and then to this. So uh, depending on your Wi-Fi connection for ours, that is definitely the faster option. But if you got internet speeds that are capable of doing it, you're probably gonna be better off to download a lot of this stuff. Um, I will say, Steam didn't necessarily make it super easy to transfer games between your PC and this. They could have done that a lot easier with some type of an app or a sync feature. That's a little disappointing, and at $700, it's not the end of the conversation, but it's aggravating enough that I really hope that that's something that they work on and that they put out here in the near future. Is this cool? Yeah. Is, is it necessary? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, this is more expensive than the Xbox Series X or the PS5. So think of, let's put that in perspective for a minute. That being said, if the main way you're gonna use this is as a handheld, then I would say it's definitely got value for what it is. It's got great display, the sound's good, the control, it feels good, uh, battery life. There's kind of a wide range listed with Steam Deck. It says two to eight hours of gameplay. And really what that is is heavily dependent upon the type of game that you're playing and how much workload it has. It's going to be much more portable versus obviously a tower, much faster than I can get a laptop out on a plane or train or whatever automobile you're in, you know, there you go. So again, it's gonna come back to what you're looking for. Portability, check, display check, sound check, Avail the ease of being able to log into your Steam catalog and all your games in one place, check. 
Can it do that high performance game and work demand? Yet to be seen. We're gonna do some more videos on this. This is really exciting. I am going to use this personally. I'm going to play on this. I'm traveling this next week. I'm gonna take it with me and I'm gonna have some thoughts that I'll come back and add to this video. But get in the comments. Tell me if this is something that's even on your radar. Are you looking at it? Are we way out in left field testing stuff that most of us are never gonna play on? Maybe. But at 700 bucks, I'd like to know what you think. Again, we appreciate you supporting the channel. Keep coming back for more. We'll see you next time.